and uh, kind of come full circle, begin, be, end where we began tonight. Um, the National Mall. A few years back, the Sunday before the Tuesday inauguration of President Obama, some of you may have attended the big concert that they had. There were about a half million people there. 30 degree weather. My kind of people. <laughs> and about a month before the concert, the list of who was invited to be a, a part of this concert started to circulate through the music community. And it was quite a list. I mean, it was Bruce Springsteen and U2 and Beyonce and James Taylor and Josh Groban and the Marine Corps Band and Betty LeVette and Stevie Wonder and Herbie Hancock and Denzel Washington and Tom Hanks and Garth Brooks and everybody. Except me. <laughs> but at the very bottom of the list, the la I mean the last musician on that list of musicians, it said Pete Seeger. And I thought, now there's change I can believe in. Because you know, Pete has actually played on the National Mall many times. I've never in support of a president before. <laughs> But I was so surprised to see his name on this list that I, uh, I called him up. And I, his wife, Toshi, answered the phone. I said, hey, Toshi, it's John. Let me talk to Pete. And uh, she calls him Peter. She said, Peter's not here. And thinking he's at the grocery store. So I said, oh, I'll call after supper tonight. He says, no, Peter won't be here. Peter's on tour. I said, he's on what? <laughs> he's on tour, John, just like you. He's gone couple of weeks, I guess he's 10 or 12 cities, he'll be back a week from Wednesday. I said, yeah, Toshi, just like me, except for the fact that Pete is 90 years old. <laughs> yes, John, Peter is the only person who doesn't seem to understand that. <laughs> and I said, you poor woman, you must be worried sick with him out there like that. She says, oh God, no, I'm glad he's gone. He's, <laughs> he is driving me crazy. He's pacing all over the house, worried about not being useful. Now, you know, if you think about it, folks, it's as much as we can hope for, isn't it? Just to be useful our whole lives. And I said, well, okay, Toshi, here's my cell phone number. Have Pete give me a call when he, when he checks in. So it was, I don't know, two, three days later, the phone rings, and there's that unmistakable voice. Hey, John, it's Pete. And he launches into his requisite 15 minute monologue about all the things he's thinking about and the books he's reading and the articles he's writing and I got a great new song but I need a second verse. I'll send it to you. You write the second verse, John, okay? Hey, and I've got a wonderful way of teaching people how to sing in Swahili in four part harmony. Have you got time? I'll teach you the parts. I said, Pete, you're killing me. He said, well, John, you called me. I said, I did. I said, Pete, you're playing at the inauguration. He said, I am. It's impossible, isn't it? And I said, if I have learned anything from you, old man, it's that the impossible just takes a little time. I said, Pete, the whole reason I'm calling is I just have to know. I mean, you have waited 90 years and you get one song. So I gotta know, what are you gonna sing? My guess is there were some people in this audience who were actually at the concert. Or perhaps you, as I did, watched it on television. Well then you know that Pete closed the whole day singing that song that he taught this entire nation. As I was walking that ribbon of highway I saw above me that endless skyway. I saw below me that golden valley. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made. 
the sun came shining, the sun came shining as I was strolling. Wheat fields waving, and the dust clouds rolling as the fog was lifting. Was chanting. What it say? This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. Because it was Pete, and because he had just one chance, he sang all the verses. <laughs> was a great high wall there to try to stop me, and a great big sign that said private property on the other side. He didn't say nothing. That sign was made. In the city square, in the shadow of the steeple, by the relief office, I saw my people, some stood there hungry, I stood there wondering, this man was made nobody living, ever stopped me. Freedom Highway, nobody living, never turn me back, because this land was made for you and us. Sing it now, come on, this land. 